Hello there, hope you are doing great. Welcome back to another session on cyber security. In this session, we are going to understand what is MAC flooding. And then we will take a look at one of the commands that is uh, used for MAC flooding. So let's take a look at what is MAC flooding. A MAC flooding attack involves an attacker sending a large number of Ethernet frames with spoofed MAC addresses to the switch. What happens here is hacker sends a lot of packets targeting a network switch. That's the meaning. And this kind of an attack rapidly fills up the MAC address table. So we have two things that we need to understand here. What is a network switch? And uh, what is this MAC address table that is present in the network switch which the hacker targets? So what hacker does is he sends a lot of packets to a switch. And there's a table inside the switch which gets uh, overwhelmed by these packets. And once when the table is overwhelmed, there is a, there is a consequence of that. And uh, hacker is able to sniff packets because of that. So this is the MAC flooding attack. But uh, we need to understand these things. What is a switch? What is a network switch? What is the MAC address uh, table? In what way this MAC address table is used in a switch? So let's start off with this explanation of use of a switch. So we are seeing here there are systems uh, in a network that is connected to a switch. So whatever you are seeing here is a network switch. It is a hardware device and it has got ports here. So the machines will connect uh, to this network switch using the ports. You see here there is an Ethernet cable connected uh, to this uh, switch using a port. So it creates a network. So network switch is used for creating uh, network infrastructure that enables devices to communicate with each other. So using the switch, devices can communicate. So what what is the kind of communication that happens here is, so if uh, traffic is emanating from a specific device, say this is device A to device B, so the devices use this network switch. So the network switch is able to forward the packet from device A to device B. It is one is to one communication. If I am going to send a packet from A to B, the network switch will forward that packet from A to that specific device B. And for this purpose, it uses a table called MAC address table. So that is called the CAM table. So for forwarding a packet from one device to another device, a table is being used. Let us see what the table is. So, for understanding the table, let us take uh, an, uh, sis four systems and you see these four systems have MAC addresses. So, we have already seen what is a MAC address. Uh, so, MAC addresses, 48-bit MAC address for each system. So, every system will have its uh, MAC address. And what happens is all these MAC addresses are maintained in a table like this by the network switch. Who is maintaining this uh, table called the MAC address table or CAM table? The network switch maintains it. Who is maintaining this table? The network switch. And what is there inside this table? You have the MAC address of a system. You also have the port number of the system. Say this is system A and this is system B. If system A wants to send a packet to system B, what the switch does is it uses uh, the port number. Okay. System B is in port number 2. So, using the MAC address, it forwards that packet to that specific system in port number 2. So, this is the use of the CAM table. Let us take a scenario and understand this. Say, we have two devices here and these two devices want to communicate. So, this is the MAC address of device A and this is the MAC address of device B. And device A wants to communicate with device B. So, once when device A sends a packet, what this uh, switch does is, checks whether that specific MAC address and port number is present in the CAM table. If it is not present, then an entry is made like this. Okay, this is the source uh, machine's MAC address and this is the port number to which it is connected. So, this is the source machine and this is connected to say port number 1 here. So, that is entered into this table by the switch. What is this table called? CAM table. So, now, it should send this packet to which destination it is sending that to this specific destination. So, how it manages the destination is it is going to see if that entry is already in the MAC 
table. If it is not in the MAC table, it's going to make a entry. So this is the destination MAC address. This is the destination port number. So using this table, it's going to route the packet from this MAC address to that packet, uh, to that system in that specific port number with this MAC address. So from one system, directly it's sending the packet to another system. For that, we use a network switch and a CAM table inside the network switch. I hope you all have understood how this communication happens. There is a, a limitation for this table. So when you're talking about a table, you see it has got some limited memory. So you can hold a limited number of MAC addresses in this table. So what a hacker does is he floods this table with lot of spoofed MAC addresses. So say you're going to, the switch is going to write lot of fake MAC addresses to this table. And once when the table is full, there's no one-to-one -one communication between the system. Once when the hacker sends lot of packets and he fills the table, any packet that is sent in the network, say if this machine sends a packet in the network, because the table is full, it's going to work in the other way around. The packet will be broadcasted to all the other machines in the network. So this is the security breach. So instead of having one-to-one -one communication, we have packets sent to all the systems. Now the hacker can sniff the packet. So this is what is called a MAC flooding attack. What is a MAC flooding attack? An attacker floods a network switch with massive number of Ethernet frames, each containing a different source MAC address. Lot of fake MAC addresses are sent. And since the CAM table has limited memory, it's going to be overwhelmed. And after that, what's going to happen is the switch can no longer associate MAC addresses with specific ports. Because a lot of uh, packets are being flooded with a lot of fake MAC addresses. So what it does is it turns into a hub and then it's uh, just going to broadcast all the packets to all the systems. So this is going to lead to potential data breaches. So this is called a MAC flooding attack. And uh, I'm not going to show you the actual demonstration of how this attack is getting carried out. Because we need a physical switch and physical systems here. Uh, we can just I take a look at one of the commands that can be used for MAC flooding. Let me clear screen. So here sudo macof interface eth0. So the tool we are going to use is macof macof and interface is eth0. So what this tool is going to do is it's going to flood the network with lot of uh, packets containing spoofed MAC addresses as you can see just flooding. Let me stop this and all these are like uh, spoofed MAC addresses. So it's going to overwhelm a network uh, switch if you're going to have a physical switch and the CAM table is going to be overwhelmed. It's going to overflow and then any packet that's transmitted between any two actual systems in the network will be broadcasted to all these systems which the hacker uh, can make use of. It's the advantage the hacker has. So this is a very brief introduction to what is MAC flooding and how it can be done using Kali Linux. I hope you are able to follow this. Again, uh, all these videos are only for educational purposes. Please don't try this on systems or devices for which you don't have permission. That's it for this session. If you have any comments, you leave those comments in the description below. I'll be answering your comments and uh, I'll be catching you with another great uh, video. Uh, thank you.